Hello, hello, sisters and brothers. My name is Tracy, coming right back to share some words of encouragement with you guys. I hope you're doing well. Happy New Week. Happy Monday to you all. I'm so glad you guys are here. Listen, I'm excited about the Word of God. As always, God is a good God. Thank you so much to everyone that is subscribed to the channel, new and old alike. Listen, I don't want to take a long time. Um, <laughs> I don't want to take a long time to get into this word. God is a good God. I love him so much. I'm going to say this real quick. I probably know better, but hey, here we go. So I put out a video yesterday and I already knew I was going to get some pushback. I was going to get some opposition, um, which which had already caused my uh, a bit of hesitation. As I stated in the video, it is called The Replacement. Go check it out. It will bless you. It is a word from the Lord. Um, so one young lady did say, and I'm just going to address this and I'm going to move on. One lady did say, um, you know what, something about false prophets or something, deception. I'm not really sure. I, I can't remember. But one of the things that did stick out to me was... Um, she said that God does not make mistakes. And you know what? It is true. No, he does not. He does not make mistakes. That does not change the fact that he will move somebody out of place and put somebody in. And that includes marriage. When um, the flood happened, let me tell you something. God wiped out the entire population except for eight people. No, he does not make mistakes. But will he do some things? Yes, he will. Will he change up some things? Yes, he will. Will he replace people? Yes, he will. It's about his purpose. So if God, and he don't make mistakes, now he created everybody, and yet he still wiped out the almost the entire population. So, you know, I'm just going to leave that right there. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen, I do understand, though, that we are all in different places at different times. Some people are, are, are maybe just more fully cooked um, than others. And some people are still kind of, you know, maybe raw in the middle. I'm just going to say it like that. And, and that's okay because we all have to grow in the Lord. Okay. Amen. Listen, listen, I have a beautiful word for you guys this morning. It is called, um, call to be a prophet. Whoo, God is so good. He wants to encourage us to keep going and continue to go, keep going. I know it's for me too. And you know what? We can say all day long, you know what? Um, I, I, this don't bother me. That don't bother me. And to a degree, it doesn't. But you know what? Some things will kind of make you feel some type of way. With all that being said, I'm about my father's business and I'm going to keep going. Praise the Lord. Listen, this walk is not for the faint of heart, right? You have to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Amen. Amen. You have to be confident in who God has called you to be. Period. You have to. Um, and, and we know not everybody's going to like what you say. And it's okay, you guys. It's okay. Just keep going. You keep praying and you keep going. Amen. If God tells you to say something, then say it. It, it, it doesn't matter. We serve him and him alone. Amen. Amen. So listen. So the Lord took me over to Isaiah 50 and 7 this morning. And I had already heard part of the word in my spirit and I was trying to remember where the scripture was and the Lord took me right over to it it says for the Lord will help me therefore I will not be disgraced okay therefore I have set my face like a flint and I know I will not be ashamed amen God's not going to put us to shame okay and a flint is um it's a very hard stone they use it to make tools so listen God's got your back all right you are strong enough for this call we are are strong enough okay for this call because Jesus is in us he is with us the Lord also took me over to Ezekiel chapter 3 verses 8 and 9 and I'm reading the new King James version okay um, I, I grew up on the the King James so I know all the this the Taoist and what have you but sometimes I do enjoy reading new King James Ezekiel 3 8 and 9 it says behold I have made your face strong against their faces and your forehead strong against their forehead like adamant stone harder than flint amen okay i made your forehead do not be afraid of them nor be dismayed at their looks in our cases because we're on social media or their words okay though they are a rebellious house all right this needs no explanation God got us. I don't, I don't even have to explain. Y'all make sure you go back and read the whole chapter though. It is good. 
Um, amen. And so also the Lord gave me Jeremiah chapter one, and I'm going to read verses five, eight, nine, ten, and I believe this is 19. It says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Amen. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. Do not be afraid of their faces for I am with you to deliver you says the Lord, okay? Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, behold, I have put my words in your mouth. We will continue to say what thus saith the Lord. Everybody's not gonna understand. I'm praying for y'all, amen, that don't understand. You know, but don't be nasty in my uh, comments, in my comment section, okay? I, I praise the Lord, I'm gonna have to block you. So, um, <laughs> so amen, so listen, Verse 10, it says, see, I have this day set you over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant. Verse 19, they will fight against you. Amen. They shall not prevail against you for I am with you, says the Lord, to deliver you. God is with you. God is with us. Keep standing. There will be opposition. It's okay. All right. It's okay. Keep standing. Keep speaking what thus said the Lord. Don't back down for anybody. I'm not backing down. Amen. I am not the back down kind of gal. Amen. So don't back down. But, but listen, this word is going to be good for not just us, but for those who have to hear it years later. Amen. Amen. So God's got your back. He said what he said. It, it, he's not going to change it. He's not going to change it. God said what he said. Revelations 3 and 22, it says, he who has an ear, let him hear what the spirit says to the churches. If you have a spirit, uh, the ear to hear in the spirit, listen up. Amen. So not everybody is where you are, right? We are on different levels at different times. And like I said, it's really okay. You know, I'm making fun about, you know, different things, but I'm serious. All right. We are in different places. And so we just continue to play, um, to pray not play, to pray, to pray, continue to pray. All right. Uh, some things people will get and some things they won't, some things they'll understand and some things they won't. And it depends on where you are in the cooking process, so to speak, right? God gives us according to our, our, our individual ability. He knows what to give each person. Okay. That's Matthew 25 and 15. He's going to give you according to your several ability or to your individual abilities. So keep on doing what God has called you to do. Don't worry about the naysayers. All right. Just focus on Jesus. Let's just focus on the Lord. Listen, you guys, that is the word for today. I just wanted to come out and share and give some encouragement. It's not easy. This walk is not for the faint of heart. All right. You have to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Amen. I love y'all so much, but I do appreciate all the supports. Y'all got me in the comments. I love you for it. And I thank you. I am grateful. I'm grateful to each and every person. Okay. That's all. I'm not going to be here too long. Listen, you guys, I got my purple shirt on again. Let me tell you something. I'm moving and I know I'm moving. So when God say pack, I, I, I just pack, I pack and I wait. So you might see me in some of the same things again, because look, just about everything is packed up. I am waiting. Amen. To all those that are moving, um, many blessings to you. Listen, don't wait. Trust God. Okay. He got your back. I want to throw that in there. He got you. All right. All right. Trust and believe him. If God say pack, make sure you pack and you're, and you're ready to go when he say, listen, that's all for today. If you're new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him, sweetheart. It is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you're just now coming back, it's okay. I'm so glad you're back. Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God rest upon you and your family. Y'all be blessed. I love you so much, but Jesus loves you so much more. Remember, you are called to be a prophet to the nations. Amen.